Okay, welcome back everybody, Frank Calabro Jr. In this video, what we're gonna do, this is our next video in the email marketing series. We're gonna uh, basically just send an email to our list over on Power Lead System. And in our last video, what we did is we created some sales pages, okay? We created some sales pages. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna use this example right here. We're gonna use this sales page right here, there's the link. And we're gonna insert this into one of our emails and we're gonna send this to our list, okay? We're gonna create an email. We're going to insert this link into our uh, into our list, and then we're going to um, go ahead and uh, email that and send it to our list. And of course, this page, if you recall, you click on this button, it'll go to the Hangout page. Okay, we connected this to the Hangout page, and then this goes to our Maps sign-up page. Okay, now. It doesn't really matter the offer, guys. I'm just using Maps as an example. It could be anything. It could be Four Corners. It could be some other offer that you're promoting. It doesn't matter, guys. It works the same no matter what the offer. So the offer is irrelevant. The process, the process is the same. Okay. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to go over to uh, Power Lead System. If you don't know how to do this, it's really simple. They just use some different words over here. Okay. Under under here it says email. You're going to hit Add Campaign. Okay. Now, this is basically what you want to call it. Now, to make things easy so I can find it and remember what this is, I'm going to call it Maps. Um, it's I don't have to put email because I know it's an email. So I could just put Maps. You could put the word email. There's no there's no reason to, to put the word email because you know what it is. I'm going to put Maps email or Maps broadcast or something. Maps email. And I like to put the date um, because that way I just know I just know when it's... Uh, when I sent it out. So what's today's date? It just changed dates. It's the fourth. So one, four, you could put 14, okay, or 2014 or whatever it is. So that way you know, you know, when you sent this out. So I'm just going to call it something simple like that. Maps email one, four, 14. Create this campaign. Um, and then I just put down, no, I want to create my own campaign because I'm going to build this from scratch. Okay. Now, to, to, to create an email, it's real simple, right here. Add a new email to this campaign. Okay, what do we want to call this? Subject line. Okay, I've already got something drafted up. I thought I had something. Yeah, I already have something drafted up here. Something real simple, just for this example. You can put your subject line in here. Control Victor, or just type it in there. We're going to add this email to this campaign all right there's a subject line we're all set now what we got to do is right here where it says view edit view edit <clears throat> we're gonna get this pop-up window and here's where we're actually going to insert our email so what we're going to do is we're going to first of all take this mess out of here backspace we want a nice blank page I've got a simple little email already drafted up just a couple lines something real real simple Control copy, control Victor. Now, <clears throat> once you get your email in here, okay, your email, here's what, here's what I want you to do next. Oh, wait a minute. No, here's what I want you to do next. Once you get this in here, I want you to hit the enter button about 20 times. You can hit 25 if you want. What that's going to do is going to push down that box. There's like a box uh, email. Uh, box from uh, PLS. You don't want that to be underneath your email. You want to push that down the page. Okay. If you don't do this, trust me, you'll 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 see what I'm talking about when you send this to yourself. Okay. Now <clears throat> we've got our ad copy in there. We've got our subject line in there. Now let's just say we want to add an image to this. Okay. We might we might want to add an image to this picture or to this to this email. Let me pull this pull this out so it's a little bit easier to see. And I could put an image pretty much anywhere. I could put it at the top, the bottom. I could put it anywhere. Let me see if I could put it at the top. Put the image at the top right here. Let's see here. Image. I'm going to click on the image, this little picture thing. <clears throat> i got to browse the server. Okay. And I'm going to have to upload this image. So I'm going to click on my library. I'm going to click on upload because there's nothing in here yet. I'm going to hit browse. Now here's where you'll go to your computer and you'll find an image. I already got something real simple. And then hit upload selected file. 
All right, there it is. Now, now what do I do? Okay, it's uploaded. Let me close this out. Just okay. Here we go. Then what I do is I hit browse server back to where I was. Sorry guys, I forgot how to do this because <clears throat> there's no images in here. Just double click on that. Double click on it. It'll automatically put it in there. Click OK. Now once it's in here, we can adjust the size. That's way too big. Just click on it. Just grab a corner and just click and drag and get the dimensions you know to what you like. Uh, 600 pixels pixels by 271. That's good enough. I mean you could drag it out a little bit more if you want to. We want it to be bigger. Okay. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent, guys. Now, I want to change the font. Like the font, I want to hit Control, oh, Control A. Oh, hang on. Let's just copy it. Just, just scroll down and just copy everything. Okay, I want to I want to change the font. I want to go... Oh, hang on. Font. I, I clicked the wrong thing. Sorry. I want to click Verdana and the size. I want to go with something kind of big. Not too big, but some, kind of big. Maybe 14. That's kind of small. The picture's kind of big, so I don't want the words to be too small. So in this case, I'm going to go a little bit bigger. 14 is pretty normal. It's what I normally pick. But in this case, I'm going to go 16. I want to go just a little bit bigger. Okay, now, we've got an image inserted in there. We've got our, our advertisement. And then what we need to do is insert our hyperlink, right? I'm going to highlight this whole line. I want that whole line to be clickable so they're not going to miss that hyperlink. They're going to know... To click that line right so all I do is I, I highlighted that entire line I'm gonna click on this chain right here link now wait a minute there's a couple ways you can do this that's one way to do it okay that's one way that we can do there's a couple ways to do this um, we can click on that chain and insert the link okay that's let me just click on it you can insert your link right here where you want them to go if you want them to go to this page right here we just grab this link and put it in there okay that's one way of doing it Here's another way you can do it. Let's close that. Let's cancel. We've highlighted that. You scroll up to the top of the page. You got to copy this. Control copy. I just copied everything that's highlighted. It says right here place a trackable link into a web page, uh, link to a web page that's in our system. Okay? So you, we've already got this page built, guys, right? We've already got this page built. Backspace, Control Victor. There's the text I just highlighted. It's in there. And then you can choose the page, right? What in the heck did we call this? I don't even remember now. Um, but this is the second way of doing it, okay? This is the second way of doing it. We call this we call this maps email marketing either one or two. Which one do we call this? Let me just double check just to, just to look. Okay, it's that one right there. Maps sales pages. It's either one or two because we've only created two. It's this one right here. It's one. Okay. So I know what it's called. So what I can do from this drop down menu, I can select. This is the second way of doing it. You can do it either way, guys. It makes no difference. It's going to work either way. Maps email marketing one. Okay. Then I just click add. You're done, guys. It's that simple. You just made that clickable, okay? It's clickable now, guys. It's done. It's a done deal. Now what you do is you scroll up to the top, save changes. Now, your email is all set. It's ready to go. Now, the next thing you want to do, you're going to hit send now, and you're going to email this to yourself, okay? You're going to get this email. You're going to proofread the email. You're going to make sure everything works, okay? Everything's spelled right. Let me go over to one of my emails. I can't check it because I didn't send it to myself. I'm using one of our business partners um, uh, PLS site to make this video. So, But you'll get the email. Let's just say, for example, this is the email. You'll get the email. Make sure you know the image is the right size. If it's, you know, if it's not the right size, adjust it. If something needs to be changed uh, in here, adjust it. Change it. Edit the email and then you know save it again and send it to yourself again. And then make sure, always make sure your hyperlink works. Okay? So send the email to yourself, check it, make sure you like it, make sure that box is not over here. That's why I had you enter like about 20, 25 times, push that box down the page, okay? Just edit your email, check it, make sure everything works. Now the next step, very simple. 
next step is very simple. What we want to do is we want to send this campaign, or we want to uh, uh, schedule it. Uh, you know, I mean, we want to schedule this, this, the, to email this thing. We want to email it, okay? Now, we can email it right now, or we can email it at a later time, okay? It's totally up to us. We can do whatever we want to do with it. Once the campaign's created, click on email, and we want to send campaign. We want to send campaign. Now, in this drop-down box right here, pretty simple, guys. We're going to find what we called that thing, okay? What do we call that thing? Maps, and we called it to date, remember? So it's simple to find. Maps email 1-4-2014, okay? We select it. Include yourself in the mailing. I usually always leave that checked. Now, who do we want to send this to, okay? You can send this to um, your entire list, which would be everybody, okay? Or you can select, you know what I mean? You could select who you want to send it to. Now, you know what I'm saying? You could select, you know, uh, um, you know, people that came in and took this, uh, uh, signed up for this power lead system, you know, free lead system, we could uncheck them. Say we don't want to contact the free lead system people, you know what I'm saying? And uh, But you pick and choose who you want to send this to, which list, okay? This is really self-explanatory, who you want to send it to. Um but just for this example, we're just going to send it to everyone, okay? But you can just send it to just, you know, whatever list you want to send it to that's inside inside this uh, platform, whatever you want to do, okay? But for this particular example, we're just going to send it to everyone for right now. Okay, now we're going to scroll down, <clears throat> and we can just leave the rest of that stuff alone. Now choose the date to send the email, okay? And you can uh, select the domain it comes from, whatever, uh, whatever you guys want to do, okay? You can leave most of this alone. You don't really have to mess with any of this unless you want to. Now, you can send it out at the current time, okay? There is a drop down right here. You can send it out at the current time or you can send it out into the future, okay? I'm going to send it out six hours from now, okay? I'm going to send it out six hours from right now. So six hours from right now, I'm going to check the box. I have read and agreed to the, you know, the policies. And then right here, send to a total of 58 emails. I'm going to click that. Success. I'm done, guys. I'm done. It's that simple. I'm now scheduled, that email's scheduled to go out to all these contacts inside the platform. So what I just did, guys, is we just built a email broadcast. Of course, over here, they call it a campaign. They call it a campaign. It's right here. Add a campaign. They're going to call it a campaign. We just used one of the sales pages that we created. Okay. We inserted that into our email. So when people get that email, okay, let's just use my email as an example. They get this email. They check this email out. Like, man, this guy made 100K. How did he do this? That's pretty awesome. In 273 days, most people work 50 years and never make 100K, guys. So someone gets the email like, man, this is interesting. I need to learn some more about this. They click on this link. They go to what? They go to our sales page that we created, okay? And then they click on the button. They go to what? Wherever we want to send them. In our particular case, we sent them to the Hangout so they can learn more information. And then when this button right here is connected to our Maps sign-up page. So that's the process, guys. That's how really simple it is to communicate with your list and to send out uh, an email campaign using the Power Lead System. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this training. See you guys again real soon. Thank you, everybody.